now that our alpha mask is created we have to apply this alpha mask into our artwork and pull the artwork off our layer so what we're gonna do is um, go to my RGB uh, channel here let's click on layers now you can see it's a flat background now we go to select let's come down to load selection what we want to do is we want to load in our channel mask obviously here we hit OK and we get our marching ants what this does obviously is it selected everything that we had from this channel all the data is being so is is now selected so now what we can do as long as our background layer is selected we go to edit we come down to copy we've just copied all this color information now we go to edit paste and here it is pasting it our artwork on a transparent layer now at this point what I like to do is go ahead and um, select a new layer which is, here's a new layer icon right here underneath the next to the trash can now what I want to do is move this layer underneath my transparent layer and we're gonna fill it with a color so um, we're gonna go ahead and fill it with whatever color that is I'm gonna hit my option on my alt key and the delete key we filled it so now looking at this image what we, the ne very next thing we do you can see around this edge it's kinda white and pixelated it's got like a white halo outline we're gonna get rid of that stuff too and now what we need to do is select our artwork layer again and the very next thing let's go to layer across the top come all the way down to the bottom to matting and hit remove white mat now what I want you to do is watch this transition edge here see it go away what it does is it gets rid of the gray data it gets rid of the white information between the pixels of our um, our alpha mask that's what it was if we print this we'll be printing a heavy white all the way around the outside edge of that soft edge this is what it should let print like so what this is going to do is it's going to print it's going to look like this image is just painted or softly coming out of our artwork or, or the shirt rather okay now we got a couple of th issues to take care of so what we're going to do now is let's zoom in and just see what this is uh, notice you really you don't notice around the thread too much I'm not worried about that R all around this soft transition edge looks good to me um, even this looks nice it looks like it's softly slowly coming out of the water that looks good some trash over here will clean up you know you can see a little bit some s small pixels that you might have left when you painted or cleaned up you didn't quite clean it up good enough but what, what I'm concerned with in this image mainly is this there's a white edge or a white trim line basically all around this guy and uh, we're gonna eliminate that because that looks like bad Photoshop work and if we're gonna print this on a color shirt like this navy blue or whatever this blue is uh, we sure don't want to print that it looks terrible <laughs> So the way we handle that is select our layer, make sure it's selected. We hold the command or the control key and you notice you get a little square on the hand inside that layer. What that means is we, when we click on, our, on, on the layer, we've just selected everything that's on that layer. So there's our marching ants again. Okay, now what we want to do though is go to um, our selection menu, go to select come down to modify and we're gonna contract this I wanna shrink this selection by one pixel and we hit OK so you notice it it just it goes in one pixel if you know look right here on one of the little fins you can see it move in it just kinda squeezes it in now what I wanna do is go to select and inverse my selection so now what we're gonna do is actually erase around those hard edged areas but you can't do it with these ants on because you just don't it, it's too distracting to see so let's see if I can um, I want to hide my selection here okay can't do it control H I just can't remember where that it's up here someplace but anyways command or control H hide your selection it's still selected so now I'm gonna hit my E key that's gonna give us an eraser so what I'm gonna do is start right down here I'm gonna change reduce the size of my um, brush slightly and watch that little white edge just gonna disappear no problem we're gonna clean this guy up in no time see it much nicer even cleans up really good around this um, lure here and that's it if there is a little edge around here anywhere else we don't really need to worry about it it's not it's not affecting anything while it is um, 
while we do have a background on I can actually just get rid of some of this extra trash you might want to look around your image and uh, clean up because that will it will get on any separations if there's data there the software will see it and uh, you don't want to have to go around greening out your screens and doing all that craziness so just take care of it now and you'll have a good clean set of steps so let's take a um, one quick look yep I think he's done that's it now what you can do is get rid of this layer um, your background layer but now that we have a layered file you want to save it as a layered file and that's how we apply our alpha mask